Back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. This video has been well worth coming. Um, we've made up a jig here for splitting motors, pulling the copper out of the motors, out of the, out of the armor type of thing. Um, I don't know what you call this, but it's got all the copper in it. So what I'll do first is we get all this wire and stuff off. I might get you to get me glasses from over there, please, Tom. I can't quite see here. Thank you. Stanley knife here. Might be quicker and simpler. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Um, do you want to continue on doing these, mm -hmm. pulling them apart? This one here, leave it. I may be able to... Well, no, I'm not going to be able to do it with that, but it's got to be... The center's got to come out, so probably best if you just grind those off, but leave it to later. Do all the ones that are bolted together and that sort of thing. So, do those. Mm -hmm. Sort out your cast alloy and that sort of thing. Okay. Mind me, everyone. Camera adjustment for the glasses. Here we go. Hope everyone can see. Right. Get to do this. Got to get the speed sensor off there so we don't have to worry about it later. This I've been testing this couple of, for a couple of days now, um, and it seems to work pretty good, pretty damn good. I used an axe head here, um, an old car jack. <laughs> Just took the the flat piece off here that you hook into and put a bolt on there um, put a bit of uh, C channel there or you call it C channel or I, well, I call it C channel this plate here was already welded to that part this was actually I've cut it off from down there um, put a couple of pieces of angle on onto the onto the jack I did have it so that the jack was twisting over that way until I put that there that part is for when we pull the copper out. I'll show you all of that with this one here. As soon as I get this apart, they're a bit of a mongrel to get apart, these. So just bear with us. So I'm not sure whether my scrap yard will take these with them on there or not. This all still goes as number two anyway. But if I get it off, I know I'm going to be right. Uh, hammer. Should have been prepared, I suppose. This is a log splitter, nine ton log splitter. I haven't altered nothing of it. Um, I just made this up so it sits on top of it. So it does come off, can still be a log splitter. Just cut a triangle into the plate, made things easy for me. So if we want to go split some wood, we can. Been a long time coming, this video has. Been in the making for a good couple of months. Oh dear. Here we go, we've got some action going. Just don't stab at the hands. I've actually can, got it on a foot control. I don't have to press a button down here. I uh, bypassed, no, I haven't bypassed it, it can still work by the button there, um, but I installed the foot pedal as well. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier. I've also put a spring on the back here because usually when the spring's not on there, this comes back and, and I don't want it coming all the way back because I've done some modifications to the end of it where it all bolts together. Ah, a bit of rubbish there. I've set up a couple of bins here so you can see I've been testing and that sort of thing. That's how I'll come out. Um, all of our steel, like this one here, he really mangled that one up. That was to do with all of our testing, but we were still able to get the copper out. So that one there goes over there. So they do get, some of them do get mangled up. Like here's some test patterns, test ones here that we've done, the real small ones. I think they were out of fan motors, that sort of thing. <coughs> Got some resin in this one. It's got a lot of resin in that. If I 
probably do better with a smaller screwdriver. Get into there. Someone will probably tell me, look, you can do it this way, you can do it that way. This is my way. No one's actually showed me. I've got a few of these ideas off good old YouTube, of course, like everyone else does. Um, but I've put it into practice my way. There we go. So that way I know what I'm doing, how it works and everything. Which makes it a lot better for me. That way I know it's going to work. I'm not buying a big fancy machine or anything like that. Don't need to these days. That's this there, that's that, that's that. Drag all that crap out. Even though there is copper inside. There we go. That over there. Oh, I just get two chop it off. Chop that there. That goes number two insulated. Give that to June. Take that off there. That can go in the thread. Right. Down to the fun part. Now I've got a piece of steel here. It only goes so far with that anyway. The actual press doesn't touch that. Because I've got a block of timber here that June's idea. Grab a grab a the old bed post. Um, and then she said put a piece of aluminium on. I said, well, that's not a bad idea because that way, when this goes through to there, it's not going to blunt in this, even though it's pushing through steel. It still helps. All right, where's our foot pedal? Put it to action. Line her up. Very, 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 very touchy. I got the switch out of a wash machine. Very old one. Go back a bit, we're a bit crooked. Might start without that block. It's a bit high, just a bit high. Still in production of testing, so you're seeing it as I see it. There we go. Alright, screwdriver and pull that off, give it a turn. Tell you what, this makes things so much quicker and easier. You don't need a grinder, don't need a reciprocating saw. I did buy one to try and do it, but the amount of shreds that came off the end, I thought, well, there's got to be a better way. So, yeah, well, that's why I went this way. Any steel or anything like that, we'll just put it down there, give that a turn till it goes that way. Well, I got the block of timber. It's raining again, of course you can hear it. Go to there. I'm not worried if I've got to turn it three or four times. Long as I get it in the right spot. I think that is that. Completely in half. Look at that. So much easier. Right, that can go down there. We'll do another one. Get another one. We'll go. Uh, I can't do those. I can't do those. Okay. That's out of an alternator. Uh, we'll go a square one. Square is square. This is where I use the plate to lift it up. Whoop, started twisting. We don't want that. Give it a turn.
And that's it. Piece of cake. Makes it so quick and simple. Leave it in there, Dale. It's steel. It's a steel bush. You don't need to take it out. It's not brush. So you could have left it in there. Okay. Um, another one here. Another little round one. See how we go with this. Yeah, that don't matter. It doesn't matter. That still goes through as... Yeah, that, that one goes... No, it doesn't go that way. It goes straight into the shred pile. And this goes into the... Into shred pile too. And yep. That's right through. Look at that. Makes life easy. I'm loving this. <laughs> yeah, but when it gets down to these, you know, they squash up. So um, we're going to work out a different way. Probably have to use a grinder and just use the end of the machine and pull it out. But um, yeah, we've, we've had some stuff ups. I mean, real big stuff ups. You've seen that one where it was all mangled and that sort of thing. Um, this one here. No, that one that I done earlier. And that one. Yeah, this is a fairly big one. I'll worry about all of this crap later. All right, we're going through this one. This is a fairly thick one. Here we go with this. Oh, testing its luck. Nine ton. Still going through it. No emery from a grinder at all. Totally loving this everyone. Hoping this, hoping this helps everyone out on how this was made. I'll explain everything a little bit de detail soon. That's that apart. I'm not worried about one piece. Look at that. That's that. Um, so Getting down to how we pull it apart at the back. I'll give you a run down here. Uh, we'll go to that last one we just done. I've got a, I'll get off my foot pedal. It's very touchy. And you got to touch the board down there on the ground and she's very touchy. But anyway, what we do here, is we put this in here. I've made it so that there's a piece of flat there and there on both pieces of angle line so that it's got like a set of teeth uh, so we just lined it up so it's corner to corner. Then we get the, the tech gun. Come on. Oh, that's flat. That's flat. Can I have that battery back, please? Over there. That's got to be on the charge. Pull those. Other, yeah, no, the other one. The green one. I'm pointing at it. Is there a battery on that, is there? Yeah, I'll take that one. Thank you. That's flat, flat. That works. All right, so I've made it so it goes up a fair way. Goes, to, we can probably do big motors. I mean, talking massive ones, probably about three or four. Uh, well, you're looking probably five inches across. But anyway, get down to what we're doing. I'll turn this around so it's that way round. Torque it down so you can see it's starting to pull over. That is why I put that there. Now, I was getting June to help me here, but I'm sure I should be able to manage on my own. I hope. Ooh, we've got to move our stuff up here. Got to move it. Move that to there. Yeah, I should be able to manage. Let's pull it out like that. Go to the other side. There we go. Life is simple when you get the idea. I tell you. That's done.
that is done that's that one i'll do another one quicker quicker we go the more money we make i suppose oh, i'll do that one later because it's got that other thing in it oh, grab a couple i'll even grab a, a small one for, for giggles put a few up there on the bench then this goes straight into there okay this one it, it's alloy yeah. oh okay just put it aside. You've got a bit of copper down here too. No, I didn't see that there either until now. Right, that there. Oh, phone call. Right, so what I've done here is I've actually undone the end of this ram um, with these two pieces of rod that actually control the headstock up there and I've actually mounted a couple of pieces of angle line on here don't know whether you might be able to see it I'll step back a bit uh, a couple of pieces of angle line then I've put another piece of angle line on top for this post to go there and then I've welded it so it's usually got a handle there I've taken the handle away and put it away for story um, you want to pull that lever please you can pull it to wherever because I'm not going to put the chain over that. Right out, that'll do. I'm going to leave it loose. That way I can pull it off. Oh, I'm bleeding. Where did that happen? Oh, that's Makes it quick and simple. I like this quick and simple idea. Then I'll undo it. Throw that in there. Grab another one. It's a bit bigger. Really works, this does. I'm very surprised. Where's my foot pedal? Go and walk about. That's all in one go. I like that. That's even better still. Peel the plastic off, put that into there. Yeah, no, it's good. All right, grab another one. Makes the job quick. Put that into there. Work wrong way. Just got to remember to click it the right way. Here we go, two pulls and it's out, like that. Undo this. Put this transformer in. Um, I better actually get rid of that. I better put something over top of this first. What have we got done? You got that piece of plastic down there, piece of perspex. So if we get any metal in there, I don't have to pick it out. Put that straight up underneath that. Only just fits. There we go, just fits. I'll put it a bit diagonal. This one in here. Oh, it's still dropping down anyway. Go the other way. Now this has got the plastic on it. I don't know how this is gonna go, so bear with me. I haven't done one of these yet. Scratching that doesn't matter. Right, I've got to work out how I'm going to do this. Chain up to there so I can get a full grip of these. Had to go and purchase these ones, just specially for this. Right. Chain over like so. Now I've only got the plastic. I only got the plastic and it's still come out. I like that. I'll leave that for you there. Is that right? You want to leave that there or you want me to put it no, down no, there? there? I'll get on to it next. Well, you've got motors to do. Yeah, I know. I'll put it down there because there's already one in there. All right, and then we can just undo all of that. Pluck it out. All right, and I'll do a couple more for you. 
Now, I do use this also. I take all of this apparatus off and I... Struth. I actually use it for the aluminium as well. So we'll take that off there, if you mind. We'll cut a few more up. What have we got here? We can go there. Uh, that one won't be able to be done. Put him aside. Where'd that rope come from? I don't know. Right, we've got a transformer here. Jesus, that got some thick stuff in that. Let's see if we can do that. See how we go with that one. Foot pedal, come here. I'm liking this foot pedal idea. It's the switch out of a lid, actually. Wow! What have you done? It broke my switch. <laughs> it broke my switch. No, it didn't break my switch. Here we go. Just a quick adjustment. Pick up all of our steel out of the dirt. It fell on the switch, doll. Hmm? It fell on the switch. It had an explosion and fell on the switch. Oh, it fell down, did it? Yeah, that's all. But it just about pulled everything out of the copper. I don't even need to use the pulling part of it. Look at that. That's some good thick stuff in that. Put that down there. Where's the other half? Over there. No grinder required, melting plastic or anything like that. I am totally loving that. Now, getting down to the fine detail, what we've done, how we've made it, all that sort of jagger, jagger, jagger. Right, so, just an ordinary, um, log splitter, nine ton. Um, this is how I've done it. It just pops off there. Um, that's all that is. Now, I'll give you a good look underneath it. Here, this was already welded, like I was explaining, onto this piece of flat. This is an axe head. I've actually chopped it, chopped it off. I'll come around to where June is, if June can move over. Still got that pump to pull apart yet. How you going there? How you going there? I'm all right. Can you move up a bit? No. Thank you, yes. <laughs> yeah, I need you to. Um, so I can explain this to everyone. Now, I'll just set it like this for everyone. Um, I've welded two pieces of extra, extra angle line on underneath here of the actual bigger piece of angle line that's here um, to stop that bending down. I was getting it bending down and all that sort of thing. All right, so it's all welded to that big bottom plate there so it doesn't push down it adds its extra strength um as i explained earlier there's only two pieces of flat here welded on not ground down you grind it down you weaken your weld just what i've been told in the past from my father all my welding i was learnt, taught from my father um but what i was saying about the axe head i took the abrasion part out because it's usually an abrupt piece like that and then it goes in i've taken that out and and beveled it so it's nice and flat i did see on youtube where a bloke was using some sort of ripply type of big moony type of thing and he was hammering it into the into uh split the motors apart so i thought well yeah okay he said it was real hard stuff and that sort of thing i thought well an axe head it's hard you can't break it not unless you melt it so i thought yeah good old axe head keep it nice and sharp that i could still go and cut wood with that even though we've been using it on um steel and that sort of thing and all the copper um so i just welded it on there cut it off where the handle goes inside it um welded it up i did first at beginning 
leave it all intact i don't know where i put that other piece i think it might be in the scrap metal there might be out in the, out the front out there even um take your speed sensor off first right you should be able to split all that apart there's copper inside that speed sensor uh, and then i think that's basically it with how i've put it together it's so simple so easy so anyway um we'll put it to work again now oh, underneath here um for how it fits on the bottom uh, you might have seen that i cut out a little triangle so it fits directly on the block splitter on, on the form that where you usually where the wood splits apart i thought well no point trying to use that part on there because i knew it would not work so i thought well i'll try and make up my own and that's what i've done as you can see makes life so much easier i'm not even going to worry about paint it it's only going to get dirty anyway you got that out did you oh sweet that can go in over as over the other side over there don't worry about trying to take it apart okay um but anyway we'll put it back to work go a bit more needs to be done so we'll get in and do it i will do a video of uh using this with the aluminium i don't actually have this up here i may even think about making another piece for the block splitter because it's got a flat bottom uh, it may be better having that so it doesn't twist around by doing what i've done here so i've just got i have been using it and it seems to work i just got to strap it down and all that sort of thing so it doesn't cock up and so this might be a better way of doing it without all this apparatus on there just a flat piece of steel there and and the steel at the back i've got more of that sitting over there in the scrap so anyway do a few more instead of me jibber jabbering um you haven't done that other one have you no no <clears throat> right do this one I'm not too worried about it being loose or anything because it's got, not going to go anywhere. I could make it tighter by putting a piece of steel down in there. Where's that little piece that I did have? Where do I put that? There it is. That's what I mean. Just by putting a piece of steel down like so, that tightens it up. Just wedge it in there. That firmed it up. That's already apart. Look at that. So clean. It's not deforming the, the material. I think if the material was thinner in the wall like these are, it probably would squash like that. I think that's why they squash too, because they're thinner in the wall. I did try to straighten this one out. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one here. I did try to straighten it out and try and put it back through, um, but it just kept wanting to bend up so yeah we'll work those out later oh yeah we'll go for this big sucker go for this big one totally loving this over there I did try to use it without the piece of timber wasn't very successful but since I've had the tip piece of timber been very successful all right we better go to there I reckon gives me something else to hang on to too that's it Popped it apart. It's like a piece of cake. Loving it. So anyway, um, well, I'm going to continue on here and keep going for a bit. And um, 
Got to do a few errands in town too. So I hope you've enjoyed me doing this video for everyone. Um, it's been a long time coming, like I said, when I first started. But, um, no, can't always do everything all at once. Got to give this one a rotate. Maybe not. No, he's done. Doesn't really matter if they're not apart, as long as the copper's, you know, cut, because I can still put that in, like, give you an example. Uh, yeah, that's already good done. Do this one this way. So I'll give you an example here. I've only got to turn that right around. Put them both out, facing the same way. I won't be able to do both at the same time. Wrong way. Like I can still do this one here. Because it locks it in. Um, it pliers it here. Ah, uh, should be good. Just need me foot pedal. Yeah. What are you doing to me? My foot pedal just malfunctioned. Got dirt in it. It's, it's got a lot of dirt in it. I might have to make that a bit higher. Disconnect it. Now I can still disconnect it. I've made it on a good plug, this one. Yeah, that's got a lot of dirt in it. That's all it is. Very, very touchy. Oh, it might have had a rock under it. Anyway, a few malfunctions. What's not a video without a malfunction? That's what I always say. Yeah, that's gonna work. Probably need to put a spring under it. Underneath there. That's the go, put a spring under it. Yep. Oh yeah. Few more things that need to do to the foot pedal, but other than that, machine still works. Oh, we pulled that out in one go. Hell yes. But that's what I mean. You, like, it doesn't matter if they don't come apart fully. Uh, trash bin over there. Um, like we can still get them done. You know? And you get to and do the other side. But I'm just going to leave that there for now. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm going to continue on here. Do a few more and um, probably help June pull some more motors apart so we can get a whole heap, get this tub here all filled. Because you know, these motors have been a real headache they've been looking at me for months and months and months so it's about time i got in and done them i did do one of these big ones oh dear there's no bolts that hold these together but once we got the center out that's the thing like cut the sides there i still was able to use this straight through the cast alloy straight through the copper and the steel to actually split the copper apart um if I didn't try it, I wouldn't have known. So the actually proof is in the pudding, I suppose, when you talk about it. Um, but yeah. But anyway, I'm going to end it off there, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me today. And June. June in the background, they're pulling some motors apart. What do you got there? Oh, a bit of plastic. Yep, radio. I'm going to drop that back into there. Um, probably get, you, get to and help June pull them apart. And uh, we'll get back to pulling these apart later. So anyway... Thank you for chiming in everyone in our copper disassembly for motors. Totally love this. A lot less work. But anyway, so if you've come this far in the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, that way, if you do subscribe, you'll get notified 
when we put a new video out. Um, just for shits and giggles, I'll show you um, something a bit smaller. I mean really, really oh, that one's got to go the other way. Over there, we've been sorting them out here. Um, really, really small. We'll go right down to the smallest we can go, just for giggles. No, I don't want you. <laughs> I definitely got to fix that foot pedal. Anyway. It's very touchy. Very, 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 very touchy. <laughs> Pulled the plug. <laughs> but it does work. Does work. That's the very smallest transformer we have. Put that down there. Pulling it apart later. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely see you in the next one. Cheerio, everyone. <laughs>